So we're at full reach on the jack and with these big trucks, what we got here is the Caterpillar 3T big wheel off-road jack. Let's check it out. Just did an oil change. We're gonna rotate the tires today. We got four jacks. Right here it says the jack weighs 85 pounds. We'll check that here in a minute. So it definitely is a behemoth. Looks like we're gonna cut the bottom open here. Oh, it's a lot of weight right there, guys. We gotta lift heavy loads. Looks like the box lifts up just like this. There we have it. Looks pretty darn nice. I'm excited about this here jack. Here we got the handle. Well, I have to say this is one burly, mean looking jack. I'm actually really excited about this here. As you guys can see, this is a three ton jack. Big old wheels, this is my hand. These wheels gotta be six, eight inches tall. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, pretty much eight. Eight goes to the top. And if we need extra extension, we got this here extension kit, which goes onto the top. So we get an extra, I don't know, five or six inches here. And then if we take this pin out, we got three different levels. And here's our max height. Here's our max height for off-road applications. That's pretty darn tall. Wow, this is pretty darn impressive. You can see I drive around with all kinds of blocks of wood in the back of my truck. That's my old jack. I need all this to be able to jack my truck up for four-wheel drive trucks or things with high clearance such as this. Regular old jacks just won't work. This will jack up to 29, 29 and a half inches. All right, guys, here's the first off-road test. Let's roll and see what happens. Hey, it's moving. Rolls by itself, look at that. Those regular floor jacks would just get caught up in all these little rocks and wouldn't go anywhere. This is, this is perfect. I think I'm gonna have to lift the extension off. Let's take a quick look. Yep, we're way too high. But it looks like we only get one rubber pad for the lifting point here. So I'll swap it out, put it in the hole. So I'll show you how easy this rolls. This is what makes this jack a real game changer. Drop her back down, get it under. So you guys can see with this extension handle, I'm pumping from way back here. Tires are almost off the ground. Yeah, I'm gonna lower this guy down. Ooh, all right. There we go, I feel resistance. We got tires lifting up. The jack's wanting to roll a little bit. And this is a perfect example of why you want to try to do it directly, have the jack directly behind the vehicle here. It's slightly rolling. Let's see what'll happen here. Slightly creased, we're fully off the ground. Now that we know the jack works, put jack stands on the front so I can pull off all the tires and rotate them. Now for this one, I definitely could have used the extension. All right, there's the frame. Couple more pumps. All right. You can see when I'm lifting the truck up higher, the jack's doing what we want it to do. We want the wheels to be able to roll freely. It's slowly creeping forward to keep the jack centered directly under that weight mass. Let's see if the jack without the extra extender has the height capacity to lift this. I think we're off the ground. All right guys, we're off the ground. Look at that. We'll lift it just a tiny bit higher and get that jack underneath there. So we're at full reach on the jack and with these big trucks, you also have to have the high rise jack stands. So we're gonna lower this down and put all the weight on the jack. Try to do this with the regular old floor jack. We'll never get anywhere. For this one, I'm gonna put on the height extender. Get in place, slide her under. Get on the frame there. Four. And we're off the ground at five. We'll go six, seven. Tires spinning freely. Let's get this jack under there. Uh, a little bit more. Oh, something moved. Let's see if that did it. All right. Uh, oh, we're maxed out. That's as high as this jack goes. We better lower it down and see if it'll hold off the ground. Let's try to lower it as slowly as we can. Ooh, 
All right, just feather it down. There it is. Oh yeah, baby, we're free. Pop the hubcaps for this. I use a cordless impact wrench. This here is a great tool I can recommend because it's been bouncing around in the back of my truck for about three or four years now. It's got plenty of power and that battery stays charged for a pretty long time. I'll have a link for this cordless impact below. Let's make quick work of these lugs. And there we have it, first wheel is free. For this rotation, we're gonna do the rearward cross. This is a four wheel drive truck. The front tire is gonna go on the opposite side in the back. And this back tire, this back tire is gonna come straight forward to here. We got an extension here that raises it all the way up to the lifting capacity of 29 and a half inches. What sets this apart is the big old tires. These big old tires, you can see how easily it rolls here on this gravel and rock. So this thing ain't cheap at 450 bucks, but that's $180 cheaper than the next competition with big wheels. I'll have a link for this below. Rear tire to the front. With these huge heavy tires that are super hard to lift, there's a trick, grab a shovel. Your prospector's always got a shovel with you. Lift up the tire from the bottom, right up into the holes. Put on your lug nuts. Got a little dirt spot here, so we're gonna clean that up with some brake clean. That comes right off. Get that nice and clean. Yeah, this rear tire is higher off the ground, and it's pretty darn heavy. So we're gonna use the shovel trick again. Get her lined up, there we go. That's a heck of a lot easier than trying to struggle one-handedly here by yourself. I don't know if other people talk about this, but the shovel trick is awesome. Okay, we're all rotated and done. Let's lower this one last time. You can regulate it pretty slowly if you're careful. There we go, we're free. All right, let's see how heavy this really is. Oh, it's got a little bit of girth to it. This is one stout, nice jack though, but for a shop, Gold mine home or backyard jack, pretty bad. Check these big beauties out. We got two rams and one female. Oh, sniffing her butt. Look at that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Be sure to subscribe and come along for the ride. This is gold steading. To see the new Tacoma build and follow the journey, watch the video right here.